Hi, it's Jenny Dane. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm going to show you how I do my everyday vintage style makeup and it's going to be a chatty get ready with me. Honestly, I just needed something easy to do to get in the flow of creating again. Um, yeah, <laughs> and then I was also excited to use this really cool microphone and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work. <laughs> I got it on TikTok shop for like $5, so get what you pay for. So I'm going to stop pretending that it works. <laughs> I have already prepped my face. I used Delta MD Broad Spectrum SPF 46. It really doesn't leave like that SPF like screen on your face and it works well under makeup. So I really recommend that one. And the foundation that I use is Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm really like boring when it comes to makeup. If I find that something works, I'm just going to keep rebuying it. I'm not adventurous when it comes to makeup. This e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I really like this one. I have dark circles so it does cover it up really good. And I did try a primer. I usually don't use a primer. I just stick with that um, SPF cream. And I really like the Hourglass Veil. I think it works well with the Double Wear Estee Lauder foundation. And this is the travel size because it's expensive. And I didn't want to buy the whole thing to, you know, end up not liking it. So I bought the travel size and I really do like it. And um, yeah, so it's good quality. Good quality. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's start with the makeup. I'm going to go in with um, contouring. I just needed some basic matte colors. So life has just been like kicking me down lately. <laughs> um, oh, and I'll be talking about losing my um, dog and if you don't want to hear about that I totally understand I'll put a time step of where you could start this video again because honestly it upsets me and whenever I see a dog that's in a movie I immediately go to does the dog die.com <laughs> I have to know if the dog makes it at the end or else it, it's really upsetting to me if I find out it gets hurt in any way any animal in any movie it just I can't I can't deal with it so I totally understand and this will be the time step to jump to it I have never heard of the rainbow bridge before and now that I have experienced it I think it's a really beautiful idea and it's just been really hard to get into a different routine uh, it's just been a really hard transition of like day-to-day -day things where I'm used to going walking at this time or you know we're eating lunch together and um, you know playtime is just so different seeing her decline that tore me to pieces like I feel like I cried more during that process and when she did pass it was more like she's not suffering anymore I don't know I, I'm used to losing people my parents had me at a older age so I've been used to people dying and it just feels like a different kind of hurt like same it's a different kind of grief that I'm not used to so yeah I'm just taking it day by day along my cheekbone and then under here under my chin just for I don't know like I feel like it does something, so I put it under there. <laughs> uh, here, well, you kind of just want to add natural shadows to your face. So a little under my top of my eyelid, just again, just adding the natural shadow before I go in with um, my eyeshadow. So it kind of all blends together. Going with a smaller brush and I contour my nose. I have this lovely bump here since I was 10 and I was roller skating down a hill and guess where I landed. <laughs> so I have this hump I've always felt self-conscious of like my side profile and you know I can't afford to get it fixed you know especially now. <laughs> Um, so I'm just not gonna hide it anymore until I'm able to. This is my nose. I can't, you know, I literally can't do anything about it. So I fell in love with this palette, so I got it. <laughs> it's from Lucky Lashes and Cosmetics. 
and I like the, I mean, I, I, this is an old palette, so it's not the prettiest looking thing. <laughs> Uh, but I really like their browns and highlights that they have. So matte looking brown. And I'm going to put that on the crease. It's really hard to like be a makeup influence if you really got to get in there <laughs> with the right angles so y'all can see. Other than losing my best friend. Just really haven't felt like myself recently. Other life stuff has been happening. Like I just haven't made myself a priority. Inspired watching Serena's latest video. Um, Yana Serena. She's amazing. Please follow her if you haven't. Um, but she had just posted that video of her making a pajama set. It turned out so cute as usual but she was mentioning that when she wears her you know vintage style loungewear that she feels more like herself even if it's just to bed and that's it kind of was like a wake-up call to me because I haven't felt like myself in a very long time I haven't gotten ready I've been a very poor excuse of a pinup person. <laughs> I really am trying to get ready even if it's not like totally pin up ready but at least look presentable. I was trying to explain when you look good you feel good so I'm making myself more of a priority to get ready to greet the day. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker tone kind of mix in like this reddish brown and this darker brown. I'm gonna go in that with the creases to add some dimension. The sparkle stuff I just go in with my finger and put it on top of my eyelid. Doesn't love shimmers, right? Brows, I use Benefit Palmade Brow Pomade. <laughs> I use mine in warm deep brown. Had so much planned for my YouTube channel, especially with a list of projects that I've been wanting to do and started at the very beginning of the year i got sick with covid which seemed like it lasted like two months um and then some financial stuff happened and it wasn't until recently where i felt like i could breathe again with being stable and then everything that happened with my dog peeper so and then i'll be paying off her vet bills till the end of the year <laughs> probably just feels like every time I get ahead you know something is there to like kick me back down <laughs> but I'm trying not to let it get to me I feel like I need to work while you know stuff isn't the best it is a lovely distraction to focus on a project so that's what I'm looking forward to starting projects again be a nice lovely distraction <laughs> i have a lot of pre-recorded projects that i've done i just haven't mustered up the courage to finish them i have one outfit done i just need to hem it and then one hand painted skirt done i had two clients that wanted a uh, hand painted skirts and a sponsorship deal <laughs> like it all happened within the span where i was not the best mental state and I let them know that you know what I was dealing with and thank goodness they've all been so gracious and kind and really understanding the community that I have made on here and Instagram TikTok as well has been so overwhelmingly positive and really like People were sharing their experiences and wishing me, you know, prayers and well wishes and, you know, saying all these lovely things. I, I warms my heart and I never take that for granted. Uh, I don't have a, a lot of family. It's honestly just me and my boyfriend and my mom. <laughs> and so, um, you know, those relationships that I have online, I truly see as a supportive community and, and friends that I've 
that I've made and um, it means the world to me. So um, yeah, that was really unexpected. <laughs> I tried to fill in my brows and this really this beginning because my brows did not survive the early 2000s great plucking. <laughs> That's one trend that I did indulge in was like the really thin eyebrows. If I find a picture, I'll post it. Maybe. Never grown back the same. So I would advise anyone just to never touch your eyebrows. Just clean them up if you want. Don't go pencil thin like I did. Now that I have eyebrows, I'm gonna go in with Maybelline eyeliner. The Line Stiletto. I've used this forever. I like one thing. I'm gonna keep buying it. It works. <laughs> What's tricky is trying to match the length to the other eye. I'm just gonna hope for the best. Then I'm gonna go in with some blush. Just use your favorite. I'm trying to be more optimistic and positive. Maybelline Stiletto. Again, I've used it forever. And it's the best one that I've tried. I throw on these little wispy lashes and I'm gonna do that off camera because it's hard enough to put it on. <laughs> so the last thing I have to do for my makeup is to put on red lipstick because like my mom says, I can't see what you're wearing if you don't have red lipstick on. <laughs> There's two red lipsticks that I really like that I use all the time and first one is Daphna. She's another pinup girl started her business of making these beautiful red lipsticks and I use the one in Vintage Batty. It's a more of a darker tone red. <laughs> I feel so official. <laughs> and it's really pretty on and I love that she offers a golden lip pen and this reminds me of my grandma because I would watch her get ready she used a gold pen so I really wanted one just to remember her. Well this next one that I really love I use it when I go on car shows or photo shoots uh, something where I don't have to worry about reapplying. It is from Lip Sense and I use the one in blue red and then you have to get the gloss with it so I just use the the moisturizing gloss, the glossy gloss. Will I recommend it? I do, but you have to know that what you're getting yourself into, that it's gonna be really hard to get off. It is very durable, like you could literally smudge your your hand on your lips and the red lipstick isn't going to smudge at all. Um, it's just, I hate how hard it is to take off, which can't be a good thing. So we'll throw on Daphne's lipstick today. I just go in the middle and I rub my lips. Go in with the corners. And then from here, I'll line them with the brush. I slightly overline them just so they look more plump. <laughs> to finish off the makeup, I set my face with face powder. And for setting spray, I use e.l.f. Mist and Set. Just try to fan it. <laughs> then, magically, I'm going to get ready in 3, 2, 1. Ta-da! I haven't gotten ready ready in a long time and it feels so good. I did change the lip color to the more brighter red because I wanted it to match the scarf more. So that's why it looks a little different. I'm wearing a vintage scarf as a top and I have my sparkle hair knit on. You can order them now on my Etsy shop and this one is in um, Starlight. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoy just sitting and talking things out with you. Um, I'm starting to feel like myself again. so slowly but surely. <laughs> Thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next one.